If you're thinking about making the move to Rancho Bernardo, I'm gonna walk you through the entire neighborhood today right here in this video. And I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between so you know exactly what's going on and what it feels like if you were here in Rancho Bernardo. We're gonna also visit the schools and show you the shops, the different neighborhoods, and we're gonna visit homes in different price points when I give you a home tour so you know exactly what your money can get you. So if that's what you're looking for, join me. We're at the Bernardo Winery. I'm gonna show you around, then we're gonna head out there and we're gonna get after it right now. So this is a fun video for me to be able to put together because I live really close by. Also, our office is on Bernardo Center Drive. Now, strategically, that's right off the 15. If you were to look at a map, you'll see that you could get downtown, which is also the airport. You could get down there in, oh, roughly about 20 to 30 minutes. And that's just gonna depend on how far inland in Rancho Bernardo you are, or if you're closer to, to I-15, which runs north and south. It's really convenient. I'm gonna show you all around here, especially starting with the Bernardo Winery, but I wanna hear your perspective too. So go to the comments, let me know whether this is your first exposure to Rancho Bernardo or you already had your, your uh, you know, ideas around what this place is and if there's any change to that perception. So before we can go any further, I do wanna remind you that you should, if you are first time to this channel, make sure that you hit that uh, bell, tap for notifications and hit that subscribe button so you're the first to know of any changing market conditions here in Rancho Bernardo because every single day, People just like you, they're sending us text messages, phone calls, emails, or setting up Zoom calls, and we'd love to do that with you so we can help you make a smooth move right here to San Diego County and possibly Rancho Bernardo. All right, with that said, let's go grab a look. So what's really neat is that, you know, you've been seeing just kind of how rustic and open it is and all this space, and this is right in the middle of town. So sometimes people, if you were to only see this, you'd be shocked at just how much, this is really a master plan community with some of the most desired schools in the county but this is just a fun location for us to start the video because you can also get this kind of piece. And in fact, we're coming up on the tasting room here at the Bernardo Winery. So I'm gonna jump on in, give you a look inside the winery. And the tasting room really has this like Western feel to it. You know, it has, it's almost like this barnyard, rustic, um, country type of feel. And it, so it makes for a unique setting when if you think about it, you have companies like Sony, or companies like Northrop Grubman, just gigantic corporations right down the road, you're right in the middle of town. So it has this great contrast to it, as you can see. All right, so we've just left the tasting room. And there's just a lot of little shops. It's like these little houses that have been turned into shops. This one's the Cotton Cottage. They make women's dresses from the 1800s, I think, right over there. But it's just that kind of place, right? It's eclectic. You have this studio. There's actually a little um, fitness center over here called A Fitness. And then you have, um, actually, if you turn around over here, this is the kitchen. And the kitchen, is a place where just before actually jumping on camera with you, I grabbed an amazing Caesar salad with, grill, with grilled chicken and they have pastas. The food was actually quite good. And so this is a place we enjoy coming over to and grab a bottle of wine. They have anything from petite Syrahs, Syrahs, Merlots, Tempranillo, um, Pinot Gris. They have a pretty strong selection of different wines. And so I'd encourage you to check it out. And by the way, we're adjacent here to Poway. We're just up the road from Scripps Ranch. Escondido is to the north of here. And the communities of 4S Ranch, uh, uh, Del Sur, golf course communities like Rancho Santa Fe, the Crosby, Santa Luz, all really close by. And so it's just a really good location for you to come to whether you make Rancho Bernardo home or not. And with that, let's jump over to go take a look at some of these award-winning schools and figure out why it is that parents go so crazy over trying to get their kids into this district. But once we're there, I think you'll see why. So we're just driving by the Marbella neighborhood and then right here on our left, you have the Mirador neighborhood. And you see it's like really wide streets, really, really nicely manicured. It's uh, one of the reasons that I would say people definitely move to Rancho Bernardo is just the outdoors. Right in front of me, there's some really nice tall, big mountains. It's not going to give you a rural feeling by any means, but it definitely is a more calming, kind of wide open feel than a lot of other parts of San Diego, and especially given the proximity that, that it has 
to an access that it has to everything because not only like we've already discussed the 15 if you if we pull the map back up the 15 running north and south right off Ranger Bernardo but very gives you also really quick access to the 56 and the 56 will take you east through um, Carmel Mountain but it'll also then take you into Carmel Valley and dead end into Del Mar so that gets you of course over to the five and then you can get north and south everywhere you can hit La Jolla you can go north to Solana Beach you can go into Encinitas from there so you are you're in a really nice location especially for the amount of space you have here now that's if you had gone south on the 15 that's where you would hit the 56 but if you go north on the 15 not very far from here at all you have the, the 78 and the 78 will take you west uh, in our North County neighborhood so it'll take you through San Marcos through Vista and then into Carlsbad and the reason that's so important is first that'll dead end in the end of the ocean that's gonna be Oceanside which is a neighborhood that you definitely should check out the video that we put together on this channel because it's just up and coming. Here's a golf course that we're coming by. Up and coming really has just changed. And I think you'd love what you see on that video. Um, and it's also one of the most affordable beaches that you can get anywhere in a great California city. But it's also, when you get through Carlsbad, there's so much industry there. So that's where a lot of corporations are based out of there. That's where um, Callaway is an example. That's where they're located. TaylorMade, that's where they're located. So. Anyway, good location here for Ranger Bernardo, whether you want trying to access North County Coastal or whether you're trying to get downtown or if you're trying to swing over to, say, La Jolla by accessing the 56. Over here on the left, you'll see that we're going by Oaks North. So Oaks North is one of the most well-known 55 and up communities, and there's a couple of them here in Rancho Bernardo. So if that's what you're into, if that's what you're looking for, 55 and up, make sure that you let us know. And in fact, you'll wanna hit the link that's here on this channel, you'll see in the description. You can tell us exactly what you're looking for and that way, A, we can build content around it and B, we can make sure to uh, provide those properties to you because 55 and up, probably Rancho Bernardo is gonna be one of the most well-known or well thought of places for it. Another golf course here that we're going by on the right. So the Rancho Bernardo Little League is here and definitely, uh, you know, we've been showing you kind of some adult spaces, the golf courses, the, the vineyard, but this is absolutely a neighborhood where you're going to see tons of kids. And in fact, San Diego is known for pumping out baseball players, professional baseball players. And Rancho Bernardo is one of the places that, I mean, one of the neighborhoods that has by far produced um, some of the greatest talent in our county. And this is, if you're looking for a serious little league, that's a serious little league right there. All right, so we've been driving on Pomerado Road. We're about to make a ride on Rancho Bernardo Road. The Shell Station that's over here, for whatever reason, always gets my attention. It's kind of like, hey, last chance before you head way east. And by the way, if you were to go that way, right, opposite of where I'm going now, you'd actually end up in Poway. Um, this is like kind of just a typical shopping center on the left, Chicken Charlie's Table. It's the kind of place you wish didn't exist, but does. And <laughs> that's just the truth, right? Because <laughs> let's just be honest. Um, now over here on the right, you have the Rancho Bernardo Swim and Tennis Club, if you wanna give them a look at that. Well, we just passed through it, but I'll make a right here, and this will actually lead us over to the RBN. Now, speaking of places that you wish didn't exist, that would not apply to the RBN. I love the RBN. I am. The RBN is a special spot, because it's actually where I spent my wedding night. Uh, I got married up the road in Poway at Madeira's Country Club. And so as we come by the Swim and Tennis Club there, we're moving into really a nice little neighborhood here that's uh, got the golf course on the left side of the street. If we could see beyond the homes, you'd be seeing the golf course. But we're gonna head over to Rancho Bernardo Inn, so why don't we meet you there? And when we get there, I'm gonna walk you through some of the amenities. We have a great spa, they have an event space, but it's also a place for weddings. My brother actually got married there. I spent my wedding night there. So, kind of some fun personal uh, connection to it. Let's head on over there and we'll take a look. So here we are. This is uh, Ranger Bernardo parking lot. Now when I talked about Ranger Bernardo Inn being great, I did not mean the parking lot. It's probably, my least favorite 
parking lot and I don't really have a big parking lot ranking system at all like there's not that many locations on the list this is on the list as being oh look at this great parking spot I kind of like it all right it's great <laughs> All right, I told you I was taking you to the schools, and we will, okay? Absolutely will, but I needed to make a stop here at, at RBN. So I think I'll just show you a couple of things really quickly. One is just the style of the, the, style of the buildings here have kind of, you know, there's just all these independent buildings, a lot of them with the golf course exposure, which you could see off in the distance. And I love it. I really, really love, uh, you know, it doesn't look very glamorous from the outside, I'll admit, but once you get in there, the accommodations are great. And it's kind of has that like village sort of just nice. It has a really, really nice environment to it. Golf course here, a little bit overpriced in my opinion, but it's good. It's a good course. It's a public course so you can get on. You don't have to stay at the hotel. Um, and by the way, when I'm saying it's overpriced, that's just probably because golf for the most part you know, there's far more expensive rounds in San Diego. I just think it probably should have a few more unique features, but they do take great care of the course. It's in good condition. And then right here, this is just, uh, you know, we're, we're here at off, off hours. In fact, right now it's, gosh, what is it? It's 4.05. So even at 4.05, where normally uh, most places would be empty, you still have some people out here. But if you come during meal times, packed. I mean, this whole outdoor space it's absolutely packed if you come in the evening let's jump in here if you come in the evening they have this great fireplace it's actually going right now even though it's about 98 degrees <laughs> for whatever reason but it, they have it's not 98 degrees by the way we we get that hot in san diego maybe twice a year maybe in like the height of summer but it is a warm day and anyway in the evening this is a great scene they'll have live music this will be you know, they'll remove some tables, they'll have seating. Really, really nice. Let's jump inside. This is the, called the veranda, by the way. If you're trying to Google it, look it up or anything, it's the, it's the veranda at Rancho Bernardo Inn. On a Sunday, they set up a really nice buffet right here. So it's kind of always been an easy option for our family. We'll come out here, we'll set up the, uh, we'll come with the kids. It just makes it really easy with a buffet. And if there's ever a big game, this is actually a decent sports bar to be at. So this is just their local little bar in here, but it actually gets a fairly nice energy to it if there's a big game, and especially a big local game. So let's go check out upstairs. I'm going to just show you the lobby. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you to the spa, but I do encourage you to look it up, come out here. And if you need me to connect you with anybody, by all means, let me know. Just shoot me in a text, email, phone call, whatever it might be, and I'll make sure that I make an introduction for you. They'll treat you really, really good. This is a great, so this is one of the great tables in San Diego County. And this is at uh, a restaurant here called Avant. It's known as Table 65. And it's this, come on in, just this private, it's amazing. So you get like this chef experience, all your friends here sitting at this table. There's this wine room, it's all temperature controlled. It's really a cool experience. So special occasions, you jump in there to Avant. And then this is the main restaurant. So you see, they've done a really good job with it. How you doing? They did a nice remodel on it. Just good work. Good, good, good work. So anyway, let's actually jump over here. And you might be thinking, hey, why are we spending so much time at a hotel on the Rancho Bernardo episode right here on San Diego Neighborhoods? The reason why is it's really a central gathering place. It's where we go to play golf. It's where you might go for a brunch, a dinner, a, a business meeting, uh, a celebration, right? If you grab table 65 there at Avant. So there's a lot of reasons why people come here and I'm just wanting to give you a feel for what that is. This is the ballet in front of us and when you come on in, you'll see this is the feeling right here of just kind of what you get. Lobby's off here on the right. If we were to be walking through, the pool would be on the right there through kind of this outdoor covered space. We'll probably just kick out right now. Let's head over to the schools, but did want to give you a feel for this place. And a fun fact, this was my COVID hangout back in 2019, 2020, not 2019, 2020. <laughs> it was, it was my COVID hangout. When, uh, <laughs> when I would be banished from my home for 10 days, this is, uh, this is where I would uh, go hide out. And it was amazing. 
So if you want to see a 10 out of 10 school, this is Rancho Bernardo High School. And it's, you know, I brought you here because there's some of the best elementary schools in the county are here. Great middle school, but of course all anchored by RB High. And so right here, you're talking a 10 out of 10 on the great school ratings. They got a 10 on college readiness, a 10 on test scores, a 10 on equity. And so one of the richest sports programs of any school in San Diego County, it is part of Poway High School, or excuse me, not Poway High School, Poway School District, which encompasses all the Rancho Bernardo schools as well as the Forest Ranch, Del Sur, the 92127 zip codes. Here we're in the 92128. Great sports program, like I mentioned, especially their baseball and football teams, just always competitive. And this is a quick little look at RB High. So with that, I think it's time that we do one of two things. Let's go and tackle, let's go take another a look a little bit more at some of the shopping. I think I'm gonna take you over to one of the main shopping centers in Rancho Bernardo, and we're gonna do what we're all here for. Let's go take a home tour so we can see different homes, different price points, and you know exactly what your money will get you if you choose to make Rancho Bernardo home. All right, guys, this is Rancho Bernardo Town Center. So I'm gonna just drive the perimeter of it to give you a feel for what's here. But actually, if you can even show them right here, the Barrel Room is one of the better restaurants in Rancho Bernardo. It's nice. It's definitely high-end food in there. Back tucked behind it is another spot that is kind of just a really good uh, sports-type club. The place is called Urge, and so it's um, just more. It's actually the same owner, but a little more sports-oriented. That gasp you just heard was Mary thinking I was going to crash into this other guy, but I won't. Let me buckle up though, just in case. All right, so, and you get, look, you could just grab a look over here. There genuinely is, like, everything you need, okay? So, yeah, this is not a walkable neighborhood in terms of, like, what you would expect to find, say, downtown, right? It's not urban by any stretch of the imagination, but you've got it all from the golf bar there. UPS store was behind us. Starbucks is here. So, as far as from a convenience standpoint, everything is here. From uh, is this a great place to, you know, go spend a Sunday just walking around and popping in and out of coffee shops and little ice cream shops and bars, restaurants, etc. Like you might in an urban, uh, urban place like North Park, South Park, downtown, etc. No, not at all. But again, you have everything you need. There's the martial arts spot, unicorn jewelry. Um, so I think, you know, they have really unique jewelry there. That, that's why they named it that way. Um, up coming up over here, some real estate offices and golf tech. So if you're a golfer, I've personally taken hours upon hours of lessons there at golf tech. Uh, but let's not talk about the results. It's not their fault though. I'll definitely take complete, you know, that's on me. I'm just not a golfer. But SDCCU credit union is there. Um, which is a really well-known credit union. As you look around, this place is called The Shop. So really popular eating place here in Rancho Bernardo. New, one of the newer restaurants. The Boxing Club. So this just opened up. And again, so whether you're looking for the boxing, uh, boxing oriented place, a traditional gym, if you're looking for um, CrossFit, if you're looking for just anything, it's we do have all of that here in RB. And you know, RB is what we tend to call it on the day-to-day -day basis. This is a big supermarket right here. So Vons, this is like your big, big box supermarket chain. I know they don't have Vons everywhere across the country. So depending where you are, and if, you know, you might be local, so you know exactly what it is. But if you're coming from somewhere else, you may never have heard of it. But that's, that's the big supermarket. Kebab Shop is a local. This is a pretty cool spot because this is you have great food, um, Turkish, you know, Mediterranean type food originated here in San Diego. Their first shop was downtown, and then all of a sudden they've just got them everywhere. They've really grown. Them and Burger Lounge, man, they have grown like crazy. Borden Brew has grown like crazy. It's sort of just these local eateries. Sports Clips, right? You know, nail salons, Taylor, another coffee shop. So you have Pete's here, you have Starbucks on the other end of it. And it just gives you a feel for how much is truly here and then across the street you have every bank within a half block of where we're ta look, uh, sitting right now you have chase bank of america wells fargo plus a bunch of smaller little regional banks so there you have it that's kind of a look at the sh the shopping aspect of rb it's more of a convenience aspect definitely all built around strip malls so look that's for you if it's for you and it's not right if you're looking for something a little more um lifestyle oriented 
But the idea here is you just come in, get done what you want, you know, do what you need to do, and then head back out to all the outdoors activities. Just down the road over here, you have three of San Diego County's highest mountains for, for hiking, and, and it's just really easy access to the outdoors. You have um, a lot of industry over here, tons of these right union banks across the street. Um, and you have uh, a lot of aerospace companies over here, technology companies. Um, Amazon. Amazon has a gigantic distribution center right down the road. And then in addition to that, you also have Apple who just bought a huge campus. And I forget how many tens of thousands of square feet of office space, gigantic uh, campus that Apple just purchased. And they'll be moving, they're saying 5,000 employees into that space. And that's right here, directly going to affect the RB community. So I think it's, uh, it's a time when from a value perspective, it's only staying, if not increasing in popularity, popularity, desirability, employment. And so with that, here's the deal. Let's head out and do what we came to do. We want to take a look at real estate. We want to go and visit neighborhoods now. I'm going to take you to at least three homes in three different price points, all in RB, that'll, share, that'll show you exactly what you could expect to get if you're spending your money in the 92128 zip code. Let's head over there. All right, guys, welcome to Seven Oaks. This is a 55 plus community. The house that I have behind me is on the market for 949,000. It's a two bedroom, two bath, uh, 1400 square foot home. And it should be mentioned, however, that as of the time of this filming, it's actually been on the market for 111 days. So my guess is it'll be selling for less than that asking price. Remember, when you're a seller, days on market are not your friend. Right? With every passing day, the buyer, if you're the buyer, you should be gaining confidence around how much you can negotiate. But I did want to show it to you for a couple of reasons. One is Rancho Bernardo is known for having its 55 up communities. Keep in mind, the vast majority are not. Okay, The vast majority are just anybody communities. But there are some well-known 55 ups, and I wanted to show you. You could have this amazing single level uh, experience, upgraded. And of course, probably for less than the asking price, given that it hasn't moved in 111 days. Other amenities about this home is that it's been, the sewer line has been completely replaced. And so that's all really new. They replaced the water lines, they updated the electrical, and it just has a feel that says like, wow, like this almost feels like genuinely a new home. And it's because it's one of those that, that got not just a little lipstick on it, but really was remodeled. The master suite has access to the backyard. Um, there's a spa, um, you know, a type of kind of ensuite master bathroom experience. And you'll notice that the backyard is really sizable. The side yard is sizable and the front yard by all means. I mean, there is a like come up over here. This there's turf over here. They've done a really good job, all really, really water resistant. So that's an example of what you get if you're 55 and up and qualify for a property like this, 949,000 for two bedrooms of living space right around the corner from a lot of the shopping and just amenities and convenience. Rancho Bernardo Inn that we showed you earlier. Um, it's all literally around the bend. So with that, let's jump over and get out of the 55 up communities and we'll go take a look at at least a couple more homes at different price points so you get a feel for what you can get. Super excited. I'm stoked to show you this house. $1.2 million, two beds, three baths, over 2,000 square feet, single level living, but check out the view, okay? The view is absolutely amazing. The house is really nicely updated and you have, I mean, a quiet, like really, really nice street. If you look up and down the road, you'll see as we come up and just take a quick look at some of the neighbors, everyone has their house really nicely taken care of. But what I love about the property is just how you have these amazing views and you have that newer kitchen. Um, also, it should be mentioned, we're in, this is the Bernardo Heights community and the Bernardo Heights Community Center is included with the property. Okay, so again, any property here, it's, it's part of the HOA and that includes tennis court, spa, pool. Um, it's just, it's, it's a banquet center. It is a really awesome facility and especially to just have it included with your HOA. So this is a great example of how RB with some of the best location, some of the most biggest job centers in the county 
quick to get you know north south east west because of the quick access to the 15 the 78 and the 56 it has this is great living at 1.2 million now i realize that depending on where you're coming from if you're coming from certain parts of san diego and especially if you're coming from uh, you know most other parts of the country they are bigger price points than you might be used to but for this kind of living in such a premier uh, zip code with some of the best schools in the county, this is a home that I would not expect to see on the market for very long. Um, so with that, by the time you see this, just make sure you ask us if you like the feel of this neighborhood, then make sure that you reach out and just ask us, hey, what's available in Bernardo Heights or anything like Bernardo Heights and we'll get you the next best equivalent, whatever's come up at that time this time when you're watching. So with that, let's jump over to the final property that we're gonna take a look at. I'm gonna take you now to the $2.2 million price point, and we're gonna wrap up our home tour right here in Rancho Bernardo. All right, this is the Fairway Point neighborhood in Rancho Bernardo, and you can see kids outside playing. These are larger homes. And this gives you a feel for the houses. And so why don't we show them right down the street, kind of so that they're able to see kind of the feel of from home to home. You'll notice solar panels are extremely popular. These are properties that are in the, you know, depending on the one we're looking at, 4,000 square foot or so range, and it is gated. You can see it's extremely well manicured. I mean, these homes, people have genuinely taken care of them. We're gonna go visit a house right now that's gonna be just around the corner right here, 2.2 million on the market, and it is getting action, so. By the time you see this, it's probably gone, but it gives you an idea, an example of what your money would get you in RB at this price point. So this house right here, I'm just gonna stop the car, jump out, and let's go grab a look inside. I'm gonna show you some photos of the property, and then also I'm gonna give you a look at the backyard. That's where this thing shines, not to mention the location. All right, I'm gonna walk you over here to the front of the house. I just wanted you to see how even the presentation of showing up to the property it's just really really nice by the way it's also i should mention um 5 30 or so it's just almost 5 30 and the weather's great it is just perfect kind of like mary was just telling me here behind the camera a moment ago this is just perfect afternoon pool weather they have a beautiful pool in this property but i love this roundabout with this mature tree the vegetation if you take a look up the street the vegetation all the way up the street. I mean, these trees are not your typical San Diego, you know, community that was just put together trees. It's mature, it's lush, it has a real richness to it. It has character. And as we come up here, you'll see the architecture of it. Now this home, I should mention from a finish standpoint, it's very much in its original condition. So this is the type of property that would be referred to as having good bones, right? I mean, it's a great home. It is in excess of uh, 4,000 square feet. It's a two-story house but what beautiful thing about it is off the back you have this huge pool and then you have a really nice view because we're perched up and so you get a great view mostly kind of like a northeast view so if you're really looking for that afternoon sun this pool would likely be covered up in afternoon sun um, but it's also the case where sometimes people buy west-facing houses and they find that that sun sort of blaring in through the windows and so they end up wanting to put the shades down, right? They, they just kind of lock themselves in, almost un-counteracting what they've basically paid for, that western exposure. So depending on what you like from an exposure standpoint or an aspect standpoint, that's something to think about. But this is $2.2 million in Rancho Bernardo. Again, this is the 92128 zip code. And if you're looking for anything like this or anything different, let us know and share with us. What's your perspective on what RB has to offer? Hit the comments. And of course, in the, in the uh, description, you can find easy ways to just get in touch with us. Tell us what you want. So that's a look at Rancho Bernardo. I hope you've enjoyed the video and gotten a real feel for what it's like to be here. And if you have any questions about the neighborhoods, the price points, the property types, what communities feel older, newer, et cetera, and where you might find the exact amenities you're looking for or proximity to anything we've shown you, whether it be the, the shopping, RBN, the Bernardo Winery, or even the hiking trails, make sure you let us know. In the, in the description, we have easy ways for you to get in touch and we'll help you make a smooth move here to San Diego, whether it be RB or whatever fits exactly what you're looking for. And with that, I'm just gonna enjoy a nice walk up the street. Show them the street. I mean, beautiful street. And I'll tell, I'll tell you guys, I can't wait to uh, share the next video with you. Make sure you uh, hit that bell for notifications and hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.